welcome to this new video where I show you how I made my aluminium melting furnace. Um, I made this furnace like a design from the King of Random. Um, I'll link him in down below in the description. And you can see how I made a mix to the re refractory mix. Um, it's basically made of sand and plaster of Paris uh, with a bit of water. Plaster of Paris is heat resistant and the sand gives it more strength. Here you see us just um, putting in the sand and the plaster of Paris and then mixing it with a, with a mixing rod and a drill. Um, you can mix it by hand or with any other thing, but we had this drill. It's just easier and faster to do so. It's it's very, very good, so you get an even uh, mix. Then we add to the water and keep mixing while adding the water, so to make sure it's all mixed up. We just totally added the water and kept mixing, but you can add all the water at once, but then it's more difficult. And here it's almost finished. Yep, it's good. Yeah. Now we're going to pour the mix uh, into the steel bucket. I'm not sure how much uh, would fit in there, but we're just approximating it. And then I put the smaller bucket in. Um, that will be the gap. So we just put in what seems to be right and then test fit. So I test fit the smaller buckets and as it seems it wasn't quite enough. So just put in a little more. And that's about right. Put the smaller bucket in good, move it a little around, and then we also had to make, make the lid. Um, the small can in the middle is to make uh, the hole. You can also um, make it um, solid and then drill a hole in it. That would probably have been a better option, but I thought it would be handy to have the, uh, the hole in it before. Make sure there are no air bubbles in the mix. And then we realized we had to put in, still put in the handles, so that was a bit difficult, but we managed. We used a bit of PVC pipe to hold down the can in the middle while putting in uh, the handles. So we then put in a steel bar to as a support for the handles so they will dry in, in the right place. 
and not uh, sink to the bottom. So. This is it all finished, now it's time to let it dry. So this is the result of the lid. It's really nice smooth finish. Um, this was when we tried to pull the small buckets out. Um, I made this in the winter so it was cold and plastic got very brittle. So we had a hard time um, breaking it out but we managed. Then we put it inside to let it dry some more because it's not going dry very good. I had to make a hole in the side so to put the pipe in for the air supply. It was a bit hard drilling on a surface like this, but I managed. The mix actually was a bit soft. It was hardened on the outsides, but the insides were still quite soft. I think um, the problem what, that we had was that it was too cold when he made uh, the mix, so it dried too slow. Plaster of Paris usually dries very fast, but our our mix just it took about two weeks before the outside was really hard and it should all it should be much much faster. So just drilling the hole for the stainless steel air supply pipe. So to put not too much stress on the mix in the, in the steel bucket, um, we, I decided to make a support for the stainless steel rod, stainless steel pipe to the air supply so the pipe just uh, slides through the wood so not the fork is not going to be on the on the mix that's in the bucket Then I realized the the drill, the whole saw wasn't just long enough, so I had to drill from the other side or break a bit out. And you can see I, me doing that here. So that helped to to get it through the wood, as you can see. So then I had to make an extension to the stainless steel pipe because the same steel pipe can get hot from um, the fire in the furnace. So I wanted to make the hair dryer on a little bit further away. So I grabbed a piece of PVC pipe that almost fitted over the stainless steel pipe, heated it up with a blowtorch, and make sure you don't burn the PVC because that's very bad for your health. I'm just heating it up slowly and then forcing it over the stainless steel pipe. And it wasn't heated enough, so I had to redo that. Which you can see here, it didn't fit. So just to retry that. And then that fits right over it, so it stays nice in place. It gives a nice fit. And this is the completed setup. As you can see, I made a, a wooden card for it. Um, 
with with the support for the air supply all in place uh, a nice bed of sand next to it so with casting it, I was safe um, you want, don't want to spill aluminium on concrete or other surfaces so sand bed I know it's safe and it can get the crucible on it so this is the total setup I hope you like this video um, if you like it please give a thumbs up or, and subscribe for more videos um, I will do another video on this um, in the future about how it holds up and some improvements I made. So, if you don't know to miss that, please subscribe and see you in my next video.